It's the Casio A168. Some of you might be thinking, wait a minute, that doesn't look like an A168 to me. Yes, it is. This is a special edition A168, the A168WEC-1EF. There are actually four versions of this. This is the gray camouflage version. There's also the stainless steel and green camouflage, gold and green camouflage, and gold and brown camouflage. I will have all these linked in the video description if you want to check them out. So let's get to how to set this watch. Okay, well, first of all, we have three buttons. Two on the left, one on the right, and this spot is blank. From the main timekeeping screen, we press the bottom left button, the mode button, three times. Now, while the seconds are blinking, we can press this button, the start-stop button, or the bottom right button. Press it once to uh, reset the seconds. If the seconds are from 0 to 29, the seconds will simply reset to 0. However, if the seconds are from 30 to 59, then the minute will advance by one. I'm going to wait until this hits 30 seconds and I'll press this button and you'll see that when I press this the minute has advanced by one. If it was anywhere from 0 to 29 it wouldn't have done that but because it was after 30 seconds then it will advance by one. To go to the hour we press the light button at the top left. In 12 hour time which is what it shows here you have hours 1 through 12 and if you press and hold it will just keep cycling 1 through 12. The only difference is that uh, if PM does not show on the display that is morning hours and if it does show on the display that, that is afternoon hours. To go to the minutes we just press the light button again and uh, we just press and hold to get to the minute we need to go to. After that we press light again to go to the month. Today is June the 2nd, and June is month 6. So all you get here are 1 through 12, because there are only 12 months in the year. So if I press and hold, you see it goes 1 through 12. Then we press light to go to the day at the top right of the screen. How many digits it shows depends on what month you have selected. Because I have June selected, this will only go up to 30 and then reset back to 1. So it says 30. If I press it again, it goes back to 1. Now if I press the light button and get back to the month again and I set this to another month, December, month 12, and then I do this again, you will notice that now it goes all the way up to 31 days. And the reason for that is because December has 31 days while June only has 30 days. Press light to go to weekday. This is pretty self-explanatory. You choose Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturdays. Once you're done, press light again. And we go back to blinking seconds and we're done here so we press mode to exit this. The next section is alarm. Now ordinarily it looks like this where there is nothing displayed at the top left of the screen. If we press the start stop button once you'll notice an icon shows up with a little audio wave that indicates that the daily alarm which is currently set for 4 p.m. is now enabled. This means that the alarm will sound for 20 seconds at 4 p.m. If I press this again the icon changes from an audio wave to a bell. This is not an alarm. It is an hourly signal. What that means is that at the top of every hour you will hear two beeps. If we press it again, both the alarm and the hourly chime are enabled. The next section is the stopwatch. To start the stopwatch we press start stop. To stop the stopwatch we press start stop. To reset the stopwatch to zero, we press light. And the only other thing we can do here is split time. And the way that works, uh, the way I best explain it is to do first and second place finishes. Let's just say you're watching a race of cars and the lead car is about to pass the finish line and passes. So here comes the lead car and passes the finish line. 
and now you're waiting for the second place car. The second place car, here it comes, about to pass the finish line, and it does. Now, this time right here is the time of the first car, and if I press light, that is the time of the second place, the second car. And I press it again to reset. The other things that I can show is on the main timekeeping screen, if we press all three buttons, you get the test screen. This shows every possible segment that can be displayed. To get out of this, I just press start, stop. You can press any button actually, but I just press this one. To switch between 12 hour and 24 hour, you press start, stop. And you'll notice that not only does it show 24 hour time, but there's also a 24H displayed right above the hour there. While in the alarm mode, you will also notice that it does recognize 24 hours. So if I go to set the alarm by pressing light, this sets the alarm here. Uh, I'm in 24 hour mode. If I set it to, oh, I just passed it. If I set it to zero hundred hours, that's midnight, 100 hours, 200 hours, 300 hours. If we go to the afternoon hours, 1300 hours, 1400 hours, which is 2 p.m. and so on and so forth. And that's how you set that. So I'm going to set it back to the way I had it, which is 1600 hours, which is 4 p.m. To use the night light feature, Casio calls this an electroluminescent light, or just EL for short. That's the top left button, you press and hold. Lastly, if you want to view the month, it does require a six button press. This is kind of convoluted, but at least it's a way to view the month. You press mode, 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 light, 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 or down, 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 up, 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 which is easier to remember. So from main timekeeping, mode, 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 light, 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 and there it displays the month. And to get out of it, you just press mode once. And there you have it. That's everything to do with the Casio A168. Again, if you want to view this special gray camouflage edition, please be sure to see the links in the video description.